Steve Monkey Mason and welcome to Fast Forward Reviews. Hello and welcome to Season 3 of Fast Forward Reviews. Fast Forward Reviews Season 3 is going to be a little bit different. The reviews are going to be a bit more wild. There will be a lot of cameos in this new series. If you've been missing Jack through Season 2, check out the review of me and Jack doing it. Same for example, there's a balloon, right? So this balloon just pops up and just... Yeah, exactly. Simple. So season 3 is going to be a little bit different, but I am going to focus more on retro old kind of videos. So I hope you enjoy season 3. The movie is Prayer of the Roller Boys. This movie is an action on rollerblades. Sort of a sci-fi concept in the future on rollerblades. Bit of a drama on rollerblades. It's definitely a rollerblade movie. And it's a Corey Hayne movie. The year 1990. It's on for 1 hour and 35 minutes. Directed by Rick King. Written by W. Peter... Uh, with I if how many L's is that? Is it not L and I? Mr. W. Sorry. Starring Corey Haim, Patricia Arquette, Christopher Collette. That's that right? Collette? Mark Pelleriango. Whoa, it's too late for this. What? Mark Pelleriango? Mark, Mark, sorry, mate. <laughs> Bango. That's what I'm on about. He plays Bango in the movie. Devil and Clark. It's an easy one. And Judas Harris as the speed bagger. Age rating for this movie is a 15. Okay, there's two taglines for this movie. One of them is... <laughs> you better say your prayers, boy. They're coming. Sounds wrong, really, doesn't it? And the other tagline is... Now, sorry, I'm going to read it off my notes just so I get it right. In the 21st century... Are you ready for this? It's going to take one man and his blades to save the world from one man and his blades and for some reason the his at the end of it is in capital letters so make sure that is in capital letters there we go thank you very much what a tagline no wonder they've changed it on the dvd where's this dvd from again corey here movie from 1990 new and sealed very rare dvds you love doesn't tell us where it came from but anyway budget for this movie unknown couldn't find it not even wikipedia's got it imdb doesn't have it i'm gonna guess about a million 1990? Yeah, 500 grand to a million. That's my guess. So here's a little bit about the movie. Set after the big crash in America. The big crash is when all the parents have spent all the money and gotten loads of debt and lost all the buildings and everything. That's what the big crash is. Everything is running dry and everyone is hooked on mist. The roller boys are more than a street gang. They are making and selling the mist and buying guns, overseas buildings, real estate, they're becoming a very organised crime very, very quickly, all while wearing rollerblades. And they are killing anybody in their way. The police finally get a break when a man moves to town, along with his younger brother. Not only can he rollerblade, he also has a conscience and will do anything to protect his brother. And it just so happens he grew up with the leader of the rollerboys as a best friend. But there's one big problem. Once in, never out. Rollerboys rule. Rollerboys rule. Day of the rope. Day of the rope. Steven, you're chanting. I want to kill everyone. Whoa, 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 calm down. Calm down. Fun fact about this movie, this is the first movie, first independent, who went on to release a lot of big box VHS rentals in the UK in the early 90s. This was the first film they put out at the pictures in the UK. And because that company is now bust, it's probably the reason this film has never been released on DVD or Blu-ray in the UK ever since. Bonus fun fact, their first independent also went on to produce a lot of other Corey Hayne movies in the UK, like Fast Getaway, which was made around the same time as Prayer of the Roller Boys, as so was Dream Machine, and so was Never Too Late, and also Fast Getaway 2, all by First Independent. So they had the fingers in a lot of pies about movies in the UK in the 90s. Bonus fun fact for you, lad. So here's my review of the movie, and I do apologise in advance if I'm a little bit biased towards this movie because I grew up with a movie and the fact that I'm going to point out the obvious about this movie, and I don't mean it to be offensive in any way. This movie is becoming a forgotten classic because it's not out on DVD, it's not out on Blu-ray, and it's really hard to get a hold of on DVD. Seriously, you've got to get this imported with some haggard cover, whatever. Wipe the side of the screen down, that is the original cover. I did have that on big box VHS and on small box VHS, but I've lost them over the years of moving. Thanks, mother, for cleaning out my house one day. Anyways, cashing in on rollerblades. That's rollerblades with the wheels all in one line and not like four in a row. Rollerblades. And crossing it with action and a storyline, just like Gleaming of the Cube did with Christian Slater and skateboards. There's a bit of connection there, isn't there? Christian Slater, skateboards. Corey Haim. Rollerblades with Patricia Arquette, 
just your okay, I'm sure that's whatever, you know, bit of connection. This movie really carries the late 80s, early 90s vibe and it's captured really well for the time period. A bit like Runner Man, Men at Work, Charlie Sheen, that era, that early 90s vibe, of, well, especially Venice Beach. It's also worth saying the score is really well done and the fact that this movie had a lot of amazing bands on the soundtrack. The soundtrack was awesome because it actually has nine inch nails head like a hole on the soundtrack and this is like 1990, this is like the heyday of it all. The soundtrack's amazing and the score's great but you can't get it, same as the DVD. This is one of Corey Haim's best movies. He does deliver a good performance and does a lot of his stunts on the rollerblades. Yeah, the rollerblades. And it's really worth pointing out that Haim and Colette once played brothers in Corey Haim's first movie, Firstborn, which is on Netflix right now in the UK in 2017. And this really plays off well in the film because they look at each other and they're like, yeah, I know you from the past. And it's sort of a real nice nod. And Corey Haim brings a lot out of Colette in it because if you've seen Langoliers, Stephen King, I don't know what Colette's up to in that thing, but he's just not a very good actor in that. And they bring the best out of it. You feel like you're missing something. You feel like you missed another movie and that movie is Firstborn. Patricia Arquette looks really nice in this and has broke out on her own ever since this movie was made. Even to the point that her name is above Corey Haim's name on the reissue of the DVD. I hate it when they do that. As for the skating in the movie, it's really well done. There's some great innovative moves for the time in this movie, like blended in the action. You are going to wonder why they've got rollerblades on them and how quickly they can change in and out of rollerblades. And just the whole mental thing about questioning why they've got rollerblades on it. There's a scene where they go to make an ambush and get some revenge. So if you're planning an ambush with guns and like the people are in a field and that, you're not going to be wearing rollerblades, are you? These guys are. So there is some questionable like tactics of when and where to wear rollerblades and how quickly you can change into them. Because this is not mask, is it? Player of the roller boys. That's mask, not mask, okay? Anyway. Okay, this is the point where I need to point out the obvious, alright? And I'm not trying to be offensive in any way, shape or form. Whoever redesigned the DVD box knew about this. They knew about this. They changed it because for some reason, the Roll Boys there, you see them? Got orange air coats and stuff on. Not at any point do they wear them in the film. They wear the coats, but they're not bright, luminous orange. Now, the Roller Boys in the film are very, very racist. And yes, looking back, it's a sign of the times. It's a theme of the movie. And I've got to say this, with the roller boys wearing long coats and all that, you know what they are? They're the Ku Klux Klan on rollerblades. That's what they are. That's what they are, seriously. I'm just pointing out the obvious about this, all right? I watched this movie last night for this review and watched it and went, hang on a minute. Like, I didn't understand that when I was younger, but now looking at it, I'm like, whoa. Anyways, this is a fantastic movie. This movie has aged well. It is worth revisiting if you have seen it before. It will bring back good memories. It has aged well, I do promise that. Watch it. Yes, own it, if you can. This is definitely something Netflix should pick up in the UK and it definitely deserves like an 88 or a 101 film release on Blu-ray in the UK. It does have a cult reference here. But how many cons of bricks out of five? Now this is a three star movie, one, two, three. But for the iconicness of my childhood growing up with this movie and how I just watched it last night and really, really did enjoy it as a film, it's a four star movie. So yeah, having Steve Monkey Mason, Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Starring Patricia Arquette for Stick Barter and True Romance. So yeah, there is a link to True Romance because it's on the back of this box because it's been reissued since True Romance was made. So yeah, we'll go. That's an outtake for you. Super bonus fun fact for you. I used to have the big box VHS on it which had an outtake slash cut fault with it where we're back... <coughs> That's mask, not mask, okay? different things. There's an outtake for you. That was Daffy making a cameo as he went flying down there. I have no idea where you're going to go. Think about Prayer of the Roller Boys, it was always left open at the very end. Not only was top 10 of like most, like Flash Gordon, most unanswered movies ever. What happened? Where was the sequel? We never got Prayer of the Roller Boys. So he's a bit of an extra ending. For you. Don't hassle me, I'm local. What about Bob? Okay, here's an outtake for it. It is eight, nine months since I filmed the Prayer of the Roller Boys review. I just started editing it yesterday and did a bit more this morning. And now I'm filming this bit to put it in at the end. And it's just mental how long it's taken to come around. Now, did I did appear at the start of this video like this, which I'm going to film after this little bit. 
and this is series three. Now season three is going to be a lot different, be a bit more looser. The magazines are still supporting really well, but the fast forward reviews is going to take on a little bit more of a edgy kind of thing. And I want to start focusing on old school films. I just bought the, the, uh, some random films, but yeah, that's the plan. So going back to prayer, the roller boys. My girlfriend Annie surprised me earlier on the year with an absolute corker of a present. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Prayer of the Roller Boys on Big Box VHS. This is what I had when I was a kid. Now it's seen better days. It's been absolutely brutalised to have the cover. Rent, <laughs> this film is £1 per night to rent. Uh, on the front cover, unlike the DVD, there's a little box of Corey Hame up the top, Prayer of the Roller Boys and Chris Collette with the gangs all doing the souping things. Notice they are wearing white coats on that box. You kind of see where I was going from with that, my frustration? Mm-hmm. Corey here, right at the top, and them skating. You see that? You know, that is the big box original cover. The back is trashed, but it's class to have this. On the back, Corey here, Patricia Arquette is on the back. Action scenes, kissing them all, roller boys. Dead fun. Like, dead fun, smash it, really. Fast and Furious, first rate entertainment. That's a good comment, isn't it? Inside, this has been rewound. Coming soon, let him have it. It is not a flip cover, never has been a flip cover. That VHS cover is absolutely Retro and ragged to hell. Absolutely retro and ragged to hell. But the VHS I used to have in the video shop, I used to jump it. It was a bad edit, it was like a break on the tape, and it's when one of the lads had shot in the back of the head. And I got it on small box VHS. And on the small box VHS was like a mini marathon of Corey Hame trailers for First Independent. Now, if anyone's following retro videos as well, I've just done the Carnosaur review. And they're all first independent. Obviously, there's two dream machines there, but I've been basically running through some first independent, looking for my VHSs, making gaps everywhere. So it's been awesome to now get to this review and go, hey, I've actually got the big box VHS of that. So I hope you're going to enjoy season three. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. There's a few films I had endings that never reoccurred, then years later, something that could happen. Remember that? Think about Prayer the Roller Boys, remember? Is this video ever going to end? Prey of the Roller Boys, I filmed it almost a year ago. I filmed it last February. It's now January 2018. Um, I did additional edits on it when I got the VHS. Once again, thank you very much, Annie, for that. Um, as I say, it's now um, January. The video is up. The video is obviously not going to come out for a few months yet. Um, I still haven't edited episode two. And I've just got this now, so... He's an extra, extra, extra ending. Now I know what this is. Oh, it's going to go back to the tube when it comes after this video. So the myth of the story goes, some guy found loads of old school video shop posters rolled up. And was selling them, just like the guy who found the King Kong Cups. Remember that myth and story? It's like storage wars. What's in this box? Oh, it's King Kong cups. I wonder they'd be worth anything. What? The original cups? What's that about? Some urban myths like that turn out to be true. And let's have a look at this poster. Come here. So it's had tape on it at some point. I can live with that. I can live with the tape because it has been a real retro video shop poster. Ooh. Original Prayer of the Roller Boys 1991 VHS shop poster. Wow! And are they wearing orange coats? No. Do they look like the. Yes. You know what I mean? Say your prayers, boy. They're coming. So that is awesome. Wow. That, I love the fact that I've got that with the crinkles on it and stuff like that. It's not a reprint or a duplicate. A lot bigger than I expected, but that is absolutely awesome. I've got to say thank you to Annie as well because she actually forced me into buying it. But yeah, that is awesome. Wow! I also got Scuba School, also known as Last Resort. This needs to be a fast forward review down the line. It totally does because this is bunkers. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Okay, this is the very end of Prayer of the Roller Boys. I've just got home to find my cat Milo in the uh, washing. Sink, I was just like, right, okay, it's a proper screaming face there. Um, it's July, <laughs> to me, it's July. 
Um, I finished Prayer of the Lord Boys review in January. It was filmed the back end of last year. Posters being framed now. Got the uh, cuffs one framed up there, which doesn't make any more sense, but cuffs will be a review down the line. And it's taken a long time to get around. I'm glad I'm going to do these one a month. But when I watched it the other night, I was like, right, is it ready to drop? Because there is also a podcast for Prayer of the Lord Boys, which is going to come at the same time. As well as like when this drops, I just done a load of filming for the Mitch Riley Band Live. The music videos on the way for them as well. So there's going to be a lot going on on the YouTube channel. So basically, Prayer of the Lord Boys, I just thought, well, Right, I might as well stick this on the end, plug the, the fucking podcast and take advantage of me ranting on how it's been like, you know, I got the VHS and I got the poster months later and now it's even six months later and I'm just cutting this random review very randomly so I can wrap this video up and go, right, hope you've enjoyed it, like, share, subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page, thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>